Teeny hats, teeny gloves, but a big game as the east side and west side of Springfield etched another line in the history of their rivalry. For one day a year, every 4th of July, Jacksonville Springfield neighborhood celebrates like it's the late 1800s. For some families, it wouldn't feel like Independence Day without the throwback game. It's such like a Jacksonville, like historic feeling, and you've got the whole neighborhood out here. I can't imagine now doing 4th of July without being out here. Anyone living west of Main Street is a West Side Giant, and anyone living to the east is an East Side Red. The players wear the throwback uniforms, and some fans take a swing at matching the vibe. It's 4th of July, you have to get dressed up on the 4th of July, especially here in Springfield. I mean, Springfield is one of the big places in Jacksonville that really embraces and celebrates this holiday. For the East Side Reds third baseman, the throwback game may just pop up as something that runs in the family. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It gets the community out here. It's the family. It's, uh, hopefully one day he'll be playing. Now that they finished the baseball game, the east side and west side of Springfield will look forward to Thanksgiving when they'll take each other on in a flag football game for the ages. In Springfield, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. <laughs> Zach, that's fun. Good job. The west side Giants defended their title and took home the trophy again this year. 5-3 to three win today. It was the 16th year of this throwback game. The East Side Reds led the all-time series 10-6, to six, so they are in the lead. But I think that little guy is going to be a slugger. He's oh, cute. absolutely. <laughs> I love those throwback uniforms, too.